so welcome to distributed systems so this is uh, in this video that we will see how the consistent hashing works in the previous part of this video that we saw what is hashing and how it is used to distribute the data across multiple machines also what are the problems that we faced for example here yeah. The key one is stored was stored here, and with the object, and then again after the redistribution, that it could be on any of the five machines based on the number of machines. So that that hash of key mod n changes, so that the key and value object will be one of those five machines. Can be stored in one of those five machines. No not just one key that we seen that we have to redistribute the everything so this created a hot spot so in order to reduce the data movement we have another approach algorithm called consistent action so in this section that we will see how it works we have formed the ring structure so this is same example but uh, in our cluster all the machines are formed in the form of a ring structure so each machine holds a range of key ranges same for example here this one stores 0 to 10 uh, this one stores the key range 11 to 20 which means whenever we whenever the client and do, do the hash of key model the key is in the range of 0 to 10 it will store in this machine that key and value object will be stored in this machine the same way uh, that it is applicable to all the machines so each machine stores a range of keys now here 21 to 40 41 to 60 61 to 70 and finally 71 to 100 so if our key range is greater than 100 this is a simple example uh, this is an example for understanding and system hashing where the ranges could be very high but if it is above the uh, 100 then we could use the first machine to store and retrieve the data the, the key uh, hash of key mod n if it is above the 100 then we can put put those objects in the first machine retrieve the objects from the first machine so in this example we are not talking about the replication yet we are only talking about how consistent hashing algorithm works so for example the client makes a request makes a request for example for the key one it finds a, a range 0 to 10 so it will store in this machine If it finds the ranges in 41 to 60, it will store in this machine. So now let's go back to the same example, uh, same use case. We have a six machine cluster and we are going to add one more machine. So we are going to add one more machine here and uh, let's see what happens. If you add a one more machine here, that so what will happen? So the entire key ranges for example this one will take care of 71 to 100 so if we add one more machine let's say it takes care of 71 to 80 and this one takes care of 80 into 100 so when we had a more machines that we are not moving the entire key ranges in the cluster we are only moving the portion of the ranges for example 71 to 80 71 to 100 we split the 71 to 80 and 81 to 100 so it 
takes care of a certain portion of the key ranges. So the key ranges uh, can be equal, but in this example that we are considered the 17 to 80. Now what we done is we had we moved only the portion of the key ranges, so we reduced the data movement using consistent action. So how the client knows which machine has a particular key range? It it will do the binary search since it's 0 to 100 uh, it, it can use binary search to find the machines that has the key ranges zero to ten twenty eleven to twenty so each machine has its key ranges that we can easily binary research this and find the range where it is located and we will find the eleven to twenty the machine identify it and we will make the request for example here we will make the request directly to this machine so for, this is how the consistent hashing works when i when we add a remove machines for example here we added but if you remove those machines again the only the portion of the key ranges 71 to 80 will be redistributed not the entire key ranges so this is how the consistent hashing works